All right, what's going on? I'll give the very simple version. Nancy Drew, CEO, MPA. You know her, right, Lesnar? Yes. She's a criminal, right? She does all sorts of criminal activities. And she's our CEO of MPA, right? Now, here's the thing. She took something that didn't belong to her by being a criminal. Okay, first and of all, when... if you want to explain something for me, you have to explain it in, in, in its most, in, in its whole entirety. I will not take... When Lang was a kid and he created this paintball league idea, and one day eventually his league came to life, right? And through that league, he had to hire a CEO. And he found a woman named Nancy Drew. Wears her hair in bun. She's a good CEO. Now here's the thing. She's a criminal. She does criminal things. She's got criminal friends. It's not good for our business. But on top of that, she did something today Essentially, it cost Lang $100,000 now. Lang is asking for the 100k back because she cost him that. And she's saying no, because she doesn't want to pay the money back because she doesn't believe she cost him. Dean, I love you, but this is what you tell the cops. Not less this. this is what happened, okay? Or last night, I got some information. It's very important information on how to uh, acquire cocaine, right? So I grab some C4. I blow out the power. I go to meet with my boy Oscar down at the horse racetracks to give him $100,000 to... Go down there, we pay the 100 grand. I want to go fucking to uh, the next step. As I'm doing these things, Big O gives me a call and he spooked the fuck out. He says, I'm taking your fucking money. This is not how we do business, right? So I go back over to the fucking racetrack. I see a big ass crew of people and Nancy Drew was there. I drive up there, I'm like, what are you guys doing? She's like, what do you mean what we're doing? We're on the phone. And I said, are you really gonna fucking lie to me? I know exactly what you're doing. And then I drive away. So I get a little aggravated, you know, I go a little, little, you know, a little, you know. And I text Nancy, you just fucked me. You have 24 hours to give you my fucking money back. Then she calls me and I tell her, you have no idea what you're getting involved in. This is much bigger than you realize. You just fucked me. I need my fucking money. I hung up. She calls me shortly afterwards. I pick up the phone. She says nothing. I say nothing. I was like on, on like that for about 30 seconds. And then I hang up the phone and say, I'm not dealing with this shit. Getting pissed, letting my emotions take over my decisive and logical thinking. And I'm thinking I'm going to fucking cap this fucking bitch. You know, all these crazy kind of sorts of shit. Then we decided we're going to bring her on a plane. A little bit of an intimidation tactic. Have a conversation with her on the plane. Oh, shit. Get in, Nancy. So, Nancy, Lang. do you really want to go down this route? Yeah. Is somebody making you do this? No, nobody makes me do you're anything. You're willing to lose everything over a hundred thousand dollars. Do you think you're invincible? Do you, you do you think that a single press of a button I can take everything away from you, Nancy? Your crew, everybody you love? I know that you can. I don't want to be the bad guy here, Nancy. In some ways, you know, I almost consider you a part of my family. Oh, damn. And that's why I don't think you're gonna hurt me. You don't think I'll throw you out this fucking plane right now and forget about it? And then go after every single motherfucker you love? I think you have it in you. I absolutely think you would. Well, I need my but fucking money, Nancy. And you're lucky I'm not asking for more. Lang, we don't have the money. Nancy Drew, CEO of multiple companies running with a fucking big ass crew, owns a massive, massive fucking horse race track, has no fucking money. We don't. Because we put all our money into shit like this. We like to science things. We like to figure out the puzzles. We like to figure out how things work. Can I tell you what we thought this was? We have been asking for that track to be paved and we asked for locks on the doors. That man is a construction worker on our racetrack. We were hoping he was there for construction. Oh, I need my fucking money, Nancy, because once you start fucking with my business, I am forced to do things I do not ever want to do, but I will do them, Nancy. You have no idea the kind of man that I am. I have an idea. I covered for one of your attempted murders, Lang. You have no Remember idea, that. Nancy. The things that I will do when motherfuckers start fucking with my money and my empire. Do you want to lose your, your horse race track? No. You want to be fired from the NPA? No, and I don't think you want that either. If you're willing to take 100k from us, what else are you willing to take? We weren't trying to take anything from you. Dude, I well, think we I'm going to kill you. You aren't trying to take from us, you say? 
but you are taking from us, and you aren't willing to give back. I'm so bummed. I like we just got to a good point with Dean and Lang, and now they're gonna fucking kill Nancy. That's Nancy, sick. I respect you. I like you a lot, but I will do things that I would not like to do, but I will do them. We we simply don't have the money. It's been an honor, boys. I fully expect to get ejected from this plane. I mean, you're not really giving me much of a choice, are you? No. Just know that I didn't do it out of disrespect to anybody here. Nancy, I don't think you did it maliciously. I believe it was a mistake, but what bothers me is how unwilling you are to accept that you have fucked the business you do not understand, and it wasn't intentional. People make mistakes. Somebody has to pay for the consequences. And we're lucky that we're only talking about money here. So what's your decision here? I think it's amazing that you want to punish me for a mistake I didn't even know I was making. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking for any more than what I lost. You didn't lose that because of me. Yes, we did. How? Nancy, you have you... to understand that your actions have consequences. I Nancy, understand that, Dean. Over, you went over to our boy Oscar, trying to give him that fucking cash. He spooked out and stopped everything that we were working on for hours today. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, fuck! You said it yourself. You like to fuck around, you like the science things, you like to learn things. I well, do. Well, here's what you've learned on this one. I did. You fucked around with the wrong person and the wrong people, and you owe them money, and all you have to do is pay it back. Pretty light. Pretty light, I think. Oh, see, that's the first time they've actually said what was going on. Hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Now you can think about this conversation we had, Nancy, and then you can make your decision. You can have the cops in here. Nice to know the people who you work with are, uh... Hmm. I didn't tell anybody anything. Right. We get back to the airport. The cops were there. A copper specifically asked, Nancy, are you okay? We got the fuck out of there. She said okay. in her, in these exact words... I think that you need me. She also said that they can't afford the 100k. Who, um, who is they? Who is these other people? Uh, Mick and a couple other guys. Her crew. Whoever the fuck her crew is. I've only had one talk talk. I was right here in this office. And I remember that I uh, explained a little bit about how I work. And she explained a little bit about how she works. And I noticed that Nancy Drew has a tendency of doubling down. She will sometimes think that you want her to be stronger than what she is so she will double down on his word that is what she did with me when we were in this room talking that they unknowingly fucked your operation yeah and unknowingly because... i don't think it was intentional i don't think it was malicious right right right. but you're angry about the fact that she's putting her foot down and saying hey i'm not gonna give you the money right yeah it's unreasonable that she wouldn't be able to get a hundred thousand dollars let's be real here hundred thousand dollars is not that much money exactly yeah, and she's you know, like, you know, back back in the Middle Ages, when when the kings they used the church to to uh, to silence the peasants, and they they collected the tax money, and you know, and they they were all the class, and the peasants never dared to do anything until one day when the peasants started they moving into the castle, and they noticed, hey, we don't actually get that much repercussion for going into the castle. Now, the issue here with Nancy Drew is that she is not a peasant; she is a knight. In your court, uh, she's a queen. Court, to be honest, but yeah. But she should also value the relationship she has with us. Uh, it's a very difficult problem. But I think at the end of the day, Nancy would lose more by going against us than we would lose by her being thrown under the bus. And she needs to understand that that is not a bluff. Yes, I agree. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but if I talk to her alone, I think I could savage this. I don't want her to think that we need her. That she can do this right. again. Yeah. Well, that yeah, uh, might be a bit I of an ego it. trip. Matt, how I feel. I personally, I'm on the side of why are we trying to salvage it at this point? It's a hundred grand. She's fucking us over left, right, and center. Why would we try and salvage it? I disagree. While she is some replaceable, it, it would be uh, very uh, annoying to, to deal with this. Yeah, it's situation. a headache, but you know, we dealt with headaches before. Do you trust her? Going forward to be the CEO of the uh, the paintball in your company. That's the issue, but but it wouldn't be an issue if we convince her that we spared her. Um, well, isn't that just showing weakness, though? I'm pretty sure if I talk to her in private and reinforce that her position is a lot more problematic than us in the end, that she thoroughly understands that, and I think there was always leaving. Yeah, I guess I, I've already made my choice, but I don't really mind which way we go. 
So I, I, I see your point of view, Dean, and I, I agree to some extent. However, I, I'm not sure if you've had time to thoroughly look through the inner workings of MPA and all of its entails. It is, it is quite a headache, and, and I mean so. I, I, I mean headache when I say headache. I will I, not I agree with you. myself. At the end of the day, if she keeps being you know, CEO and this gets resolved with the money as well, it's a win-win. What can she do with the company, realistically said? All right, fuck it. Give her a car. Lang, do you remember the shit she was doing with her crew? Their website and their little company and their little kind of... Their shindig. Oh, the vault shit? Yeah. Think about that and think about, you know, who she's with and, uh, and the meth shit. She's got giant balls. And she, she was on a phone with you and didn't say a single word. She is testing you, my friend. And uh, I, I think going forward, like, uh, I don't know, man. I, I think it's cooked. Personally, I think it's, I think this is the kind of nail in the coffin. Okay, but what if she's just a boss ass bitch, but she's scared shit? She much. is a boss ass. I mean, that could be it. That you could be right. She she could have been terrified, you know, deep down, but it didn't fucking show, man. It could even be to the extent that she's bluffing because she thinks that what well, that's what we would like to see. You know what I mean? Okay, so you're gonna call her and then what? Convince her, I guess. I think it's possible. If if I if I can get her. To pay the money, understand, thoroughly understand why she can't be doing what she's doing and why it should never happen again. Are we okay with that or are we forever distrustful because of this? For uh, me, it's, a, it's just the principle. It's a hundred grand and she's flat out. Yeah, it's confusing. more, it's the principal thing for me as well. I mean, getting the money back mm -hmm. would be nice, right? But, mm -hmm. uh... I agree with principles. Dean, what if, we, what if we reinforce that it is the principle and, all, and also make sense of why that can never ever happen again the, the thing that really i'm troubling with is there's not many people in the entire city that's like in a kind of like a high-end crime organization that would do what she did to us today like there's there's hardly anyone i can't think of anyone that might do that you know mm -hmm. yeah it's All a right. really odd spot that she's put herself in yeah. and i don't get why if it was anybody else, we, we'd uh, destroy everything they stand on. How many people would actually have the kind of audacity to not say sorry for ruining, like, someone else's business, you know? If we weigh the pros versus the cons here, we've had Nancy for how long? A long, a long time. And she's done a tremendous job through and through. Now, she made this this one fuck up, and I agree it's it's more problematic than just saying one fuck up for the fact that it shows a core personality trait that is, that is not really uh, something we are looking for, right? Lang treats these CEOs as queens. You know, they, they don't expect this side of him. So I, I agree with Leslie. And I, that's I also... Think, they, they, I don't think they expect it. The other, the other reason why I said if, if I talk to her alone, it might be better because I'm coming in as a third party because I was not there initially. Okay, do you guys want to hide in a bush or something? Or you... Oh, uh, no, okay, actually, hold dude, on, watch it. Dean, Dean, casino. Casino, the hidden no, room, the hidden room. No, 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 Watch this. Hidden room. My sausage. Damn, Damn. yes. Damn, Leslie. Yeah, yeah, Damn. bring her here. This is perfect. Talk right by the arcade right. machines. Okay, yeah. Hello, oh, Leslie. I got around to hearing that there was some, some unclear business, and I wanted to hear your perspective on things. Yes, of course. I can come All and right. see you right now. I'll be there in just a moment. He is the most right. reasonable out of the three, so I'm hoping... Well, stay on Stay on radio just in yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is not going to hurt me. He right. has no criminal record. He is not going to hurt me. I am not scared of him. He is actually, I think, trying to mediate more than anything. Is it here? Found it. Greetings, Nancy. Hello, Leslie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you just a bit stressful today? Yeah, got that right. Um, so I was just speaking to, uh, Dean and he said that there has been some, uh, troubling advancements that happened this evening. Yeah, that's the nicest way of putting it. Could you explain, uh, what happened from your perspective? Absolutely. Um, there is a fella who I've now been told his name is Oscar. He's been up at the racetrack for a few weeks mm. and we've tried speaking to him a few times. I don't know if you know this, but myself and some associates own the racetrack. Right. We've tried speaking to him a few times, and he's kind of just said, Get out of here. Why don't you take off? Today is the first day that something happened. And we 
don't know what it is and we don't know to say we didn't know what would happen mm -hmm. uh he's a construction worker and we have had a construction request in on the racetrack for a really long time to have it paved to have locks on the doors to have a stash in there just small things i still don't know what's going on if i'm being perfectly honest uh, whatever it is is obviously a lot more serious than we had anticipated i got called down to the airport and put in a plane with Lang and Harry and Tony and Dean. And basically we had a conversation, might be putting it nicely. Our lives have now been threatened and everything that we have has been threatened. My concern comes in where I hear that there is a rumble in my business grapevine that could cause aftershock that I don't quite particularly enjoy to deal with. From what I understand from the conversation that I heard, you stood your ground in meaning that you, you, you felt like you were not in the wrong for doing what you did. And I still stand by that because we had every right to be there. We didn't mean to do anything wrong. After our conversation with Lang, he told me that as soon as we went and gave the guy money, basically he got scared and decided to cancel any mm -hmm. instructions that he was giving the rest of them. And okay. how were we supposed to know that? Right. I understand that you did not explicitly try to fuck with any one of our money because the problem is when you fuck with Lang's money, you also fuck with my money and his money. It's it's kind of a, a trifecta in a sense. In a sense. Now, I understand that this was not your intention, but it was the outcome of your actions. And there are some things in the city, Nancy, where Lang is one of those people where if he feels that you owe him money for any type of reason, you are better off paying it. And I don't say that as a threat. I say that. To, in order for you to secure your own future, I, 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 if 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 you if you if you choose to draw the bar on this, Nancy Drew, you lose a lot more than what normal people would lose, and it is not worth it. It's not about right or wrong. You're doing a tremendous job as as a CEO and everything you've done for us. It, it, it's there's not many people in the city that can do that. But don't make a mistake thinking that we don't have options, Nancy. It's options we don't want to take, but the options exist. And in some contexts, it is better for you to swallow your pride. Everybody here knows that you didn't do anything wrong, but it doesn't matter. It's a it. There are some people in the city that you be best to listen to. It's again, look at the two different outcomes here. One outcome, you get the money, which you can't get. It's not that much money, let's be real, Nancy Drew. You continue as a CEO, you keep doing your work, you get your money back eventually, everything is squared, and most likely you will find more opportunities with us in the future. I agree. Option number two might not be so so gracious for you and your friends. And why is it that you hold so strongly to it? Because the amount of money that went into this, I don't want to be taken advantage of because you know that you have the upper hand on me. You and Cerberus obviously hold a great amount of power and respect in this city. I still have that for all of you, and I don't think that will change. But I just want you to know that the $100,000 is a lot of money for us. So, so the reason you don't want to pay the money is because you're financially strapped, is that what you're saying? That's part of it, for sure. Okay, so then why have you not tried to work out a payment plan? Why have you instead flat out denied the proposal? I never flat out denied the proposal. No, I did. That's a lie. I did flat out deny it. When your life is threatened by someone you respect very much, a an easy repayment plan is not really on the top of your mind. Especially when you get a text message that says 24 hours, period. Okay, but Lang, Lang <laughs> is very emotional. You know this. He was kind of crazy about stuff like this. The way I understand you, Nancy Drew, is you're a gambling woman. You like to double down. You have balls. And sometimes that's a good person to be. Sometimes so it is good. not. Sometimes so it is better to maybe not double down and be reasonable. Especially against somebody that you're feeling is being unreasonable because sometimes you don't have a choice. Think in the long run, Nancy Drew. This is an unwise decision to take. Are you influenced by your uh, associates? Yes. How would they react if you uh, didn't double down? Not well, but also... And is this part of your worry? Uh, I believe part of their concern is coming from a place of not knowing you three as well as I do. But I try my best to do right by the people I work with and the people I associate myself with. Uh -huh. So being in the middle of 
my friends and my coworkers and my group, and in the middle of you and Lang and Dean. Mm -hmm. It's a tough spot to be, Leslie. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and what your what your associates need to consider is this, it's, it's not only you that will be in, in quite a predicament. The thing that Cerberus does is we have a unique set of skills that allow us to crumble the foundation of anybody's life while still remaining, you know, let them, letting them live. It could be banned at every establishment. Uh, you know, no work opportunities, nothing. It's worse than dying, and it, it really is. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to consider what type of relationship you want to hold going forward, and also for your associates. It's a hundred thousand dollars worth everything that you built and everything that we built for you. There's a lot more coming in the future for you, Nancy Drew. And uh, one, I think you're a good person and you're somebody that I think would be unfortunate to let go based on that premise. Uh, but two, you are also somebody that generates money into our economy and helps us, you know, alleviate our business efforts. But while I say that, Nancy Drew, you are, you are not irreplaceable. Everybody's replaceable. Everyone. Yeah. Yes, Dean, Wang, myself, we're all replaceable. People often make the misnotion in the city that they're not. But they are. Everyone is. It was good talking to you, Nancy. Thank you for inviting me here. I do appreciate it. Have a good day. Very nice evening. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe she's breeds. just poor and we don't pay her enough and then she got scared because she's got no money. Maybe. Motherfucker, maybe. I pay her a lot. I still don't feel the same as I did earlier, but I also think maybe she's just poor. So if she's not poor, then it's all bullshit. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. What do you think, Leslie? I think that she's very, very scared. Mm, I think there's a component that we didn't really consider that much, a crew. Imagine if you were in her, her, her position and you had... Four other people are telling you, you're, you're pushy if you do it. You can't pay them. We're never going to do it. Nah, 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 whatever, right? Very problematic position to be put in. I think she does uh, too much work and it's too valuable to be let go for something like this. I agree. But the opportunity with Nancy ends there for me. All right. Let her run the NPA. That's it. After I get the money back. <laughs> God, sucker. In a good I'm fine with her running the NPA. You know what I mean? And just keep my relationship with her there. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a dirty business. We don't do any sketchy shit with this. So there's not much you can ever hold over us. Right. And uh, like you said, at the end of the day, she provides a lot to the city and a lot to the economy by doing that. So I mm -hmm. think she deserves to be there still. Yep. But as far as that goes, that's where my relationship begins and ends with Nancy Drew. For now. Not because of the money. Just the reaction. Yeah, I was aggressive. Yeah, I probably should have been so hostile. But uh, the doubling down, uh, you know, not really seemed like she cared about the money that I lost either. I see it differently. I see it as, as it's a defensive mechanism of Nancy Drew. She seems uh, kind of, you know, distant and that she doesn't care, but it's her way of, 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 of controlling the situation, or trying to at least. I think she cares, cares quite a lot. I think she, she's scared as shit. I mean, maybe. Maybe. It didn't seem like it on the plane, though. Mr. Lang, your 13 appointment is here. She was late. Just want that to be noted in the itinerary. I'll see you later. Mickey, please excuse us, you dumb motherfucker. The power move. Where's my money, Nancy? Got it right here. Here's your money back. This situation has shown me everything I needed to see, Nancy. Take care of yourself. It was a test? I am so glad I decided to pay that money. So, Nancy, how's everything going? Gotta be honest with you, Lang. Oh, no. At the end of last week, I almost walked away from the NPA. And I decided to take a week and think about things. And instead of walking away from an organization that I feel I've had a really big part in building, I spent the week making an employee handbook. Oh, really? To bring more staff in to build the NPA to be bigger and better than it has been before. Well, if there's one person that could pull that off, it would be you, Nancy. What are your, uh, what are your, what is your, uh, your boys? What do they think about this, huh? 
They weren't happy, I'll be honest. At the end of the day though, they will always be my boys. But I felt that what happened last week was very much between you and me and not you and them. And they were cool with that? No. Are they cool with that now? They have to be. Well, Nancy, I'm glad, uh, you know, you decided to stick around. Things are at, at, at a bit awkward uh, place right now, but I do think we can rebuild a good working relationship. I never want to discredit you for all the work you've done for the NPA. I mean, you pretty much are the NPA without it. Uh, it doesn't really have any legs to stand on. And, uh, you know, you, moving forward, whatever you do with the NPA, all that kind of shit, you know, your payments stay the same. You're not going to make less money. Your position is the same. You know, it's pretty much, uh, you know, you're a baby and I'm just a grandfather, you know, making sure that it's, uh, you know, healthy and running well. Whatever you wish to do with it, you do with it. And, uh, you know, you have my support. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. But I only is regarding the NPA, Nancy. Yeah, understood. Maybe one day, you know, that trust can be, you know, put back where it belongs. But for now, there's a lot of work we got to do. Yeah, well, I'm going to get to work. All right. Anything you need from me, give me a call. All right. All things sincere, Nancy. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Lang. I appreciate that. Hell yeah.